Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, and it seems like Call of Duty is making some pretty sweeping changes over the past couple of days. So, yesterday we learned that Call of Duty 2017, which is being developed by Sledgehammer Games, will bring the series back to its roots with a focus on traditional combat. Now, I of course did a video already on this, I think everybody's excited about this, feel free to check out my video, but today, we ended up learning that Activision Publishing has laid off approximately 5% of their workforce, and of course, Infinity Ward is part of that same workforce. They laid off approximately 20 of their employees. Now, I'm not quite sure what to make of this, honestly, because the CEO of Activision, Eric Hirschberg, you guys have probably heard that name several times, he was pretty adamant yesterday when he said that Infinite Warfare did not have the type of success that they had actually planned for, and then, to see him say that, and then to see 20 Infinity Ward employees laid off, that seems pretty damning, right? But at the same time, remember that this is across all of Activision publishing as a whole. It's not as if Infinity Ward is the only studio to be seeing layoffs right now. It's happening pretty much across all of Activision Publishing. So perhaps these people actually losing their jobs isn't necessarily a result of how Infinite Warfare is selling right now, but at the same time, it could actually be a result of how Infinite Warfare is selling right now. Like, if the game isn't selling that well, can they really afford to have these people on their team? But at the same time, it's also very important to remember that Call of Duty is on a three-year development cycle. Like it or not, Infinity Infinity Ward is working on their next game already, like they're actively making DLC and stuff like that for Infinite Warfare, sure, but Infinity Ward is right now working on the game that they are going to be coming out with in a couple of years. I'm sure it's in super pre-production right now, but it's being worked on, right? They have a concept, they have an idea, they're putting gears in motion. It's possible that the 20 people that they laid off are just people they don't need right now at this point in the development cycle. They're in super pre-production, maybe they don't need, you know, these guys over here who work on the game later on down the life cycle. It's entirely possible that these guys will be hired again down the line once the game itself is further on in its development cycle. I just, I, I hate to see people losing their jobs, right? And apparently that's the very nature of things in the gaming industry. I have seen so many horror stories about people that just work on video games, how they have to work very long hours for very low pay considering how often and how hard they're actually working, and they get thrown around a lot. Like, they'll work on a particular project for two weeks, and then as soon as those two weeks are done, they're like, all right, you're gone. You're out of the studio. You need to go find another job somewhere. And this happens a lot. They get they get shuffled around quite a bit. And I definitely hate to see people that work on Call of Duty games, especially because that's very close to me. I hate to see people like that losing their jobs, regardless of my opinion of Infinite Warfare or Infinity Ward or anything. So I think I've been pretty outspoken in the past about how Infinity Ward is like my least favorite studio of the development studios. I mean, regardless of that, these are real people we're talking about here, right? And I remember I made a video about whether or not Infinity Ward should be fired from the Call of Duty series, but in that video, I specifically said I feel as though they should have another chance, and I don't want to see the studio dismantled, because these are real people, right? And I think oftentimes we forget that, that when we look at Infinity Ward, right? We look at Treyarch or Sledgehammer or big companies like Activision, it's very easy to just picture them as a faceless conglomerate that doesn't care about anything besides the bottom line, but remember that each of these entities is comprised of real people like you and I, most of which are just trying to live out their dream and make a living at the same time. And so my heart definitely goes out to those that were laid off this past week, and I wish you guys the best of luck in the future, whether that's working on Call of Duty or working on something different. I hope you guys can find a stable job somewhere that is going to appreciate what you can do and that you can just enjoy what you're doing and live out your dream of making video games and stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude the video. I just I want to make a short little news video for you guys because I thought this was definitely pretty interesting and the entire narrative of what's happening in the Call of Duty series right now, going back to the way things were, looking at the Infinite Warfare sales figures, the plans for the Call of Duty in the future, where Call of Duty's been in the past. Now we've seen 20 Infinity Ward employees actually being fired. I thought it was very interesting news. I wanted to make this quick video, letting you guys know about it, and of course, see what you guys think about 20 Infinity Ward employees losing their jobs over this past week. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop me a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.